Uh, here we go. Okay, so this should be an easy game. I'm glad I'm defending C. I should have no problem cutting through their armor. I'm going to knock a bunch of trees down. Uh, this is the WZ1111 FT. This is a Chinese Tier 8 tank destroyer. The map is Epic Normandy, otherwise known as Normandy, in the frontline game mode. Uh, this has really high penetration. I don't know if it's 260 or 248 or something like that. Uh, 271. Wow, it's even higher than I thought. So I'm going to cut through anything. They're not going to reset this cap. If they don't spot me, that's it for them. And they're not going to control up over here. They show their faces, that's it for them. Uh, hopefully I'll have a lot of damage in this game. I might have to reposition because they're probably not going to try to cap because they're a bunch of losers. Yeah, they're losers. You know what? Maybe this is actually going to be a smart move for me. From here, I should be able to get them good. Looks like I'm not going to be able to. I'll be able to get somebody. That's all that matters. What's important in the game is that you hurt people. Yeah, maybe the, this is... Okay, I'm going to have a low damage game, obviously. They're not going to come out. Uh, they're going to be playing very slow. They're not going to try and cap. There is little reason to wait. What you want to do is you want to control that flank, you know, this ridge over here, and you cap. But what you don't want to do is not control the rig, the ridge and not cap. I mean, that's not a smart move. If you sit and wait, you, have, you, you don't have any advantage by just sitting and waiting. When you sit and wait, it's to your disadvantage. And there's so many people that do that. And I'm like, no, you control the ridge, and then you get on the cap. And that's not what they do. They just putz around with their butts up their thumb, eating ice cream. Yeah, come on out. Well, I don't have the health kit. These guys are going to lose. They're going to lose. I want to sit on another flank. I can't tell if I can hit that guy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Aim for that gun. You really want to aim for the gun uh, to disable his gun. You see, I mean, this is going to be a sucky game. It's going to be a sucky, sucky game. Yeah, they're coming after me. This is not going to be good. So I got to stay real low. I'm definitely going to respawn somewhere else. When you respawn, it's best to be at B so that you can uh, go after whichever flank. You need to be at. Oh, I, mean, I did miss. Yeah. I know you can say that what I was doing was stupid, but I mean, you got to reset the cap. Resetting the cap is a priority over shooting at people that doesn't help reset the cap. So um, I would normally pull, go in with an UDIS. They're likely the cap, and the UDIS is definitely the killing machine. So where is the UDIS? It's right here. We're going to go in with the UDIS. Uh, parking over here where the train is is a good position to wait for them. Yeah, they captured it.
Look at that. Using the auto aim, triggering everyone. Triggering all the Anakums. She never used the auto aim. Especially when it's far away. Yeah, because they can aim for the weak spot from far away. Come on. Okay, so I missed two tanks with that shot. Gonna get out of here. The smart thing to do is to obviously leave. That would have been so nice if I hit him. They're not, the enemy is really not coming that fast. Don't, I thought I had him auto-aimed. You know what, he might have spotted me, so I should move. El Rubo. Nail him and get out of here. Because he was stunned, uh, he is likely to miss if he fires again. I do want to get out of here. I'd rather go to the repair facility. And I'm obviously still spotted. And I'm ovulating. Oh, get out of here. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't know what it's doing. I really don't know what it's doing because I, I hit X to engage the siege mode and then I hit X to get out of the siege mode and it did not unsiege to my satisfaction. Yep. So you've discovered that you can shoot, you can hit those uh, rails and see the fake effects that pretends that you damage something. So going out over here is actually not such a bad idea. We've got some vehicles like that TL1, LPC, whatever the hell it's called. Where that AMX is, is a good spot, but you can easily get spotted over there. I get spotted over there too often. Oh, come on. Why you got to do this? So because of that, because of what that a-hole ally did, and because of the fact that it's impossible to shoot at this guy, he will survive. He better not spot. So I play the high-risk positions. I don't play the Anakum positions because I really want a challenging game. If the game's too easy, I'd, I'd rather go play something else. There's enough games in the world. I like strategy games. So this is a challenging position. I'm still private. I've only got 1,700 damage. I Like I said at the beginning of the game, this was going to be a difficult game. But you watch it from my amazing commentary. I'm a responsible person, you know. If I'm the only one, I, I'm not the type of person who'll be like, I'm not going to be here all by myself. No, if, if I'm the only one here, I'm going to stay here. And I'm going to keep an eye on what's going on. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to stop the enemy. Uh, but what Anakums do is they run and hide. Because they put their self-preservation above everything. Okay, so I was... I. Uh, 
wasn't paying attention to what was going on. And I haven't, this, this tank is more difficult to play, so I forgot what key I had to press to get out of the siege mode. But now I remembered it using the old noggin. Just noggin. Yeah, if I'm in siege mode, what is he going to do? He's going to use his super speed. problem with using the sniper mode is you can't see what's going on. I mean, there could be a threat coming up behind you, and you can't react to it because you're looking through the little sniper thing. This is obviously a horrible position. See? So easy to penetrate with this vehicle. This guy's going to be disappointed if I reload faster than him. You see, my shot went out, but I don't know if I damaged him. I probably, because of my ping time, which is like 220, you know, I fired my gun, but he probably uh, gets the credit for the kill. You know, when it's equal, I always lose. That's the way the game is because of my ping time. He's probably got a faster ping time. So if we both press the gun at the same time, his shot, all his information gets to the server first. It's weird, this guy has two little white marks on his uh, gun barrel, but those are, those are gold rounds. I think I'm going to go play where the objective is. Oh, okay, so this doesn't have a turret, which means it can be a little bit weird positioning. Uh, I locked in the auto aim. I almost missed him, but unfortunately my shot uh, didn't penetrate or didn't hit. There was another one that didn't. He looks really angry. He's a very angry tank. I believe he might be tracked, or he was. Come on. I don't have my gunner. Ah, uh, that sucks. Yeah, so I was, uh, I lost my gunner, and I don't have a first aid kit, so uh, wasn't able to do anything. Is there a CDA? CDA. Oh, the UDIS. This is a map that's really good for the UDIS. Udis has amazing long-range accuracy, I, and you just got to sit over here and nail everybody as they're heading north. I really should have gone in with the Udis, but I think this can do it too because this also has a high penetration gun, 260. By connect. That's it for these guys. They're like butter. Two fifty two damage on the IS three. Yeah, smart job stopping in front of me. I got three sixty nine damage on the Progetto. I'm up to thirty two hundred. I've only made Sergeant. Like I said, it's gonna be a tough game. That's what happens when you got weenies.
There's so many tanks over there, I gotta head this way. I look for trouble. Uh oh, that is not good. They might come this way. I did destroy the links. I am thinking about changing my name to something that shows my skill. Something like skill for TD or something like that. You know, no one's ever used a name like that. I don't think anyone's used that name before. They must be hitting five. I see these unicums. That would have been so nice if I hit them. So they left four. I was hope I was expecting that they were going to come this way. I really wanted them to, so I could uh, nail them. But they didn't. They left. This really turns quickly. That's what's one of the thing about the CDA. You do not need clutch braking. It's it spins very quickly. Like the E25 is turns way too fast. So that's another vehicle you don't need clutch braking. You know, there's tanks out there. I want to shoot at them. There's this big rock in the way. Lucky shot on him. So I got 390 on the Scorpion and then 417 on the Scorpion. Missed him. Forty six hundred damage, one thousand spotting damage. Three eighty seven on the bat chat, twelve T. Not a complete chump. Oh, okay, so I missed him. So you notice that I spin the other way around and he was slow to react to that and I actually did have a shot on him uh, but it wasn't good enough no WZ uh, let's try this SU there's a lot of tanks out here so we'll go for five uh, maybe not so much not as many as I want Okay, so this vehicle, it seems slow. It's got the sound of a slow engine. Definitely does a lot of damage. It's an all-around good tank. Yeah, that was 448 damage. Penetration is 243. That's on the high end. That's above average for tier 8. But it's not super amazing. Up to 5,500 damage. Might have to reverse. F 
that. Now everybody sees me. Yeah, that's the game. Unfortunately, I did not get past Lieutenant. I got cheated once again. I did 6,000 damage and 1,100 spotting damage. I don't know why people fire premium rounds. Most tanks do not pre need premium rounds in frontline. Because you're often hitting tanks on the side or in the rear. Only, I think, when you're trying to decap, you might need premium rounds. And usually you still don't. Sixty-nine hundred damage. So I guess I had some damage from unspotted tanks, and I got six kills. Once again, I totally got cheated. These guys were all stat patterns. The W clan sounds like a really nasty clan. I think it's got a lot of cheaters in it. And I got six kills. That's a game.